Good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Caroline Kimani. I am an alumnus of the One Health uh, Training Demo Sites. Thank you. <laughs> um, I am also a postgraduate student at the University of Nairobi, uh, taking MSc in Range Management. And I am glad to present to you my experiences learning and working in the One Health framework. Thank you. So um, let me just start by saying that as a child, I, my dream was to become a neurosurgeon. So clearly that didn't happen because you can see I'm in sociology. Um, but One Health has brought me close enough. <laughs> so um, I'm grateful for that. Anyway, um, so up until the One Health training demo site, the demo site is uh, a training, a pre-workforce training where students um, are trained for one week in theory, and then there's a field uh, training for a couple of three or so weeks. And up until then, I thought um, One Health was a preserve of vets, yeah? And it was not until uh, from the members of the students One Health uh, Innovations Club that I learned um, that I was, I could apply for the demo site training. And so I jumped at the opportunity. And um, I was privileged to be among the pre-workforce uh, trainees. And the demo site happened in uh, Southern Kenya, in the Namboseli ecosystem. And uh, as you can see, some of the trainings we went through was one um, participatory approaches. And what you see there is uh, a lot of community engagement uh, which started with stakeholder mapping and uh, just a needs assessment of community challenges uh, through tools such as proportional piling and uh, prioritizing the needs of the community as uh, presented by them. And we were a very diverse range of professions in the training, which also opened my mind to uh, how interconnected we are. And it is clear that you can always point uh, to any challenge there is globally. You can always point the problem of a lack of multi-sectoral, multidisciplinary approach. And so One Health really brought me to break in uh, the perspective of being a, a hard ecologist with no interactions from other professions. And also just the role of social ecology in, in One Health or in the health sector. So yes, we identified uh, needs. And then we, uh, together also with the community, we prioritized, identified uh, possible interventions and also means in which to address some of those, uh, some of those uh, challenges brought forward. And uh, a couple of them were like human wildlife conflicts, um, diseases such as uh, diarrhea, and uh, in, our, in our community, we prioritized uh, uh, diarrheal diseases um, because of open defecation. After doing a root cause analysis, it was identified that uh, uh, open defecation was the priority challenge. And therefore we came up with uh, community outreach programs to just educate the community on, uh, on healthier practices. And um, as you can see from the images, uh, this was uh, some of the, um, just some of the tools I would say we used to, to bring the message to the community. Uh, what you see in the first image is, uh, is a skit, uh, just explaining to the community how uh, these diseases would spread. And the second is how the, the cycle of pathogens in diarrheal mm -hmm. diseases um, and as you can see, the community were really interested and fascinated by uh, just the images we were showing them. And it was also a really eye-opening uh, experience for each one of us. So the, the one sitting in a court is a nurse, and the one, I am in pink, and the one holding uh, me is a public health uh, practitioner, yes. And uh, we were able to, through various 
platforms um, just spread or share information or the trainings we had gathered through the demo site experience. And one is uh, NASA's, uh, the International Nurses Conference in 2019. Um, and also we're able to share to an audience of young people uh, through TV, um, just share uh, on the One Health approaches and zoonotic diseases and the interplay and interlinkages of all the, all the professions when it comes to health challenges. And it was pretty interesting. I mean, I never thought I would be able to attend a NAS, NAS's conference and they were also really um, fascinated to have an ecologist. And uh, some of the key lessons, um, the multidisciplinary approach and the need to have various uh, professions in, uh, in carrying out community interventions. And this has, the learnings from the demo site have been crucial for me. Um, it is through also the demo site experience that I developed my concept for my master's research proje project. And uh, I came up with the research on human elephant conflict. And I also carried it out in the same place where we had the demo site. So the networks there were really important. And uh, through that, I was also able to get a grant. And uh, later, I am still, I'm still um, in touch with the various uh, professions that I was able to come into contact with. So it has also taught me to, uh, to, to develop a wide network of professions and not just in ecology or environment and whatnot. Um, a key lesson was also systems thinking, taking a systems approach uh, to every challenge and not just, um, like in my case, not just think the environmental way and so on, but to, to, th to think really not just in parts, but in systems and uh, also how interconnected we are. And I don't think uh, this, this uh, can be emphasized anymore, especially with the uh, COVID. Uh, I think we have all seen how interconnected we are. And uh, yes, sharing information freely uh, between various professions and breaking silos was also a key lesson. And these are some of the eco health challenges which I've seen have um, been mentioned. And these are, these are great uh, global crises of our times, like biodiversity loss, uh, land use, um, wildlife habitat encroachment, climate change, food systems. It is, uh, it is important for One Health to continually keep aligning to uh, these environmental challenges. And uh, with that, I would like to conclude with uh, a quote from the Earth Charter, which I think is, which I personally love. And I think reminds me of also One Health, that we stand at a critical moment in Earth's history, a time when humanity must choose its future as the world becomes increasingly interdependent and fragile and the future at once holds great peril and great promise. I don't think there has ever been a more um, appropriate time when one health approaches should be implemented than now. Thank you. Mm -hmm.